<laughs> what it is though? Yeah. 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 Tell me what my tell me. Practice controlling your emotions as it gives you control over your reaction. Practice controlling your emotions as it gives you control over your reaction. To control your emotions is to accept stability into your life. Stability means your ability to remain unchanged or unmoved. You aren't necessarily affected by insults or injuries. You're going to feel pain by <laughs> whatever external stimuli you come across. However, being that you have absolute knowledge of self and what you have capacity as a man or a woman to control, you don't want to be phased by what has occurred externally to you because you know that you can't control that. You have to focus on what you can control, like your emotions. Your emotions are always going to be yours. They're always going to be pure. And they're always going to be holistic. And being that you know that, realize what is necessary and what is unnecessary. Lashing out at someone is something that you as a man or a woman should find unnecessary. Instead of lashing out at someone, just leave. Understand. Just understand what's important. Being able to practice control of your emotions shows that you mastered yourself. And you know what's in your capabilities. Stability is an indication of mental strength. It basically means to control oneself to keep one's composure. What you want to do is practice stability because it shows that whatever comes your way isn't necessarily inflammatory. It doesn't affect you at all. You're not swayed by it because what people say or do towards you is not a reflection of you, but a reflection of them. You're not moved by criticism because you know that the greatest advantage that you have over yourself is your control of yourself. Whoever is talking about you, whoever is making you feel insecure or unworthy, is showing that they have absolutely no control over themselves. Practice restraint. This is the epitome of controlling your emotions. Separate yourself from the outcome. The only thing that's in your jurisdiction is your emotions, your ideas and abilities, your strengths and weaknesses. Focus solely on that. Take into consideration what provides the benefit and what doesn't, as well as what's beneficial and what isn't. You retaliating against somebody or making someone feel <clears throat> insecure isn't beneficial. Your objective is to grow, not remain the same. Your objective is to understand what's worthwhile, what's worth your time, because time is important. Use that time to practice control of your emotions. Genuinely. Hey, why don't you like, 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 comment, like, 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 comment, like, 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 comment, 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 like, 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 comment, like, 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 comment, like, 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 comment, like, 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 comment, like, 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 like,